Thank you. Okay, love playing with words. Obviously, are quite artistic mm -hmm. and very controversial as well. Wow. <laughs> so, where, the, the inspiration behind some of the, the the clothes that you wear, or lack thereof, mm -hmm. like you stepped out to perform on stage in a B A M B A. It's just some bambers. No. How did you even think of that? And then the other time you were wearing this, um, you had a jacket made of a certain brand, yeah, like yes. a mini meal yeah. company, yes. something. Yeah. yeah, like who who comes up with the creative of the process of all of this? Yes, by the way, I'm I'm now the the brand ambassador oh! of that company. <laughs> you know, the transition from teenhood to adulthood. Now, Mumbaiachi, just a quick one. Obviously, yeah. in you know. Your, your artistic being mm -hmm. and as part of your you know your creative process have you ever been misunderstood by the masses okay let me say it in two phases uh -huh. uh, there is this one principle that says an artist is somebody who is allowed to remain a child mm -hmm. you know yes an artist must remain a child because a child can ask any question a child don't have, you know, to, to, to think for themselves. They can ask, what is this? What is that? Mm. So artists also, they are allowed to remain in that state sometimes. Mm. Okay. When they want to create, they have to remain in that state, meaning you remove everything you know so that you can create something new. In psychology, they say, when you are teaching people, mm. when you give a, an example, when you want to, for example, you want to talk about emotions mm. or feelings, if you give an example of sex, you will see the, the student, they will be very much attentive to hear what you want to say. Yes. Because people are always interested in sex and whatever. Mm -hmm. So when you give an example using sex, you will see how people are going to understand, to catch your message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An artist is always not understood. Sometimes they can un misunderstand you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they, they have the right to do that. But again, they need to understand that I can't be doing what they are doing. Let people debate, you know. They have to 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 bring out also their own their own views mm. concerning this, concerning that. Yeah. You know, because for example, when I put a pant on my head, <laughs> you will see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so when I do that, other people out there can say because if if let's just talk, uh, let's speak the truth. For example, if it was from Fendi or or Chanel, or Versace. Mm. They come up with a pant like that and then the Versace logo here. How are people going to say? Yeah. Are they going to say they are mad? No. You know? No? It'll be a, a trend. Yeah, it will be a trend. Yeah. You know? So because it is me, mm -hmm. it is madness. Mm -hmm. You know? But for people who understand the, the, the fashion world, what they can see that this is actually money right here. This is creativity which we can sell. Actually, what I need to do is to go and patent <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Just one guy like that.